In Etrian Odyssey 3, the further you go into the Yggdrasil Labyrinth, the more you'll rely on an accurate map as your lifeline. As you walk through the dungeon, you'll use what you see in the labyrinth on the top screen as the basis for your map. You can choose to have the floors filled in as you walk, or you can paint them in yourself in one of three colors, but either way, it's up to you to draw the walls. If you encounter anything unusual, such as a treasure box, a shortcut, an NPC, or something else of importance, you can mark its location with one of the icons off to the side. If you want to remember something special about an icon you place, you can drag over an annotation icon and enter a brief memo to yourself. Etrian Odyssey 3 has a special set of arrow icons that allow you to place a path for you to walk. After you set up a route, walk over any of the arrows on the path and press the play button to be automatically conveyed along the path you set. You'll still have to fight enemies along the way, but it can be a time saver when having to retrace your steps to a stratum's lower floors. In addition to the dungeon, you'll also be mapping the seas as you explore them. The chief difference is that the sea map features many more types of icons for you to place as you encounter nautical hazards like reefs, whirlpools, or shallow waters. Stay tuned for our next video short, in which we'll take a deeper look into character creation. Etrian Odyssey 3 The Drowned City sets sail on September 21st, 2010. Pre-order now to receive a 60-page, full-color art book with designs and sketches spanning the entire series, only available at participating retailers while supplies last.